So the other little thing I built last year, as you can see here, uh, again just with wood kicking around the garden, is just a, an upstand really with a couple of shelves on it. I showed you in one of my other videos that I did about the lettuce. Um, it just, it's just a bit cold, it's cold at night, it's getting down to about 5 degrees so they're struggling a bit and it's quite windy so um, this is what turned up today. So I've ordered one of these, so like a little cold frame greenhouse type affair and um, we'll see we'll see how we get on with it but I'm excited about getting this up and I'll show you what that looks like because that's where I'm going to put um, I'm going to put it in here. So I can have a look inside the, the mini greenhouse that's arrived this morning. So it looks pretty cool. We've got um, it's well packed. Got some nice panels there. It's, it's a wooden frame. It's a first bed glass on the back, which is what you'd expect for the money. In fact, it's better than I thought because I expected to have to put the plastic in the frame. So the fact that it's all come pretty much complete. Big dog is um, is really cool. Like all the panels, no damage to any of the panels, so they all look pretty good. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, I'll uh, have a look at the instructions and carry on to do it. So we've unpacked the box, and do you know what? I'm actually very impressed. Um, the instructions are, are fairly straightforward. Tell you all the pieces you need. Tell you what pieces should be inside the box, and then goes on to tell you how to put the frame together. That looks very easy to me. What's also included in the box is great because they've labelled um, all of the the bits you need in different packets. So you can correspond those with the, the diagram so you know exactly which piece you need for which instruction. So I'm impressed with that, that's very good. So looking at what else is in the box, we've got the, again straightforward, so we can see that, we can see the, the front and the back two doors in the in the front bit there these are two kind of roof lights that go on top because it's got a slopey roof we've got three shelves that will go inside um, the unit and over here we've got the two sides um, again I'm very impressed because it's all come glazed and I thought I would end up having to put the perspex in myself but that's, that's not the case and also it all looks preserved, it all looks, um, I've treated it all, the joints look really good and solid. I'm actually very impressed with that, for the money I pay for it, that's going to do the job. So I'm going to start popping that together, um, and if you've never done anything like this before, it doesn't look like it's anything to worry about, but what I would suggest you do, um, is take 10 minutes with a cup of tea just to read the instructions, but also to make it easy to work on, I've saved the box that it came in. So that's that's where I'll assemble it. Um, so it, it's good for my knees. Um, I can't lose any bits on there either. Um, and it's nice and flat and clean. So I'll get assembling it and I'll come back and show you how it looks. So we're, we're getting there. It's taken about um, half an hour so far. It's very simple. It's not hard to do. The only tools are to use um, up until now was a couple of screwdrivers. However, we've had a bit of a problem with the doors. So when you get the doors, they're kind of shut. Okay, but they, if you can see, they, they spring. And the reason for that, I think the screws inside, um, you can see here, they're just too big for the hinges so to resolve the, 
the hinge problem where the screws were too proud, too big. Um, I've used, um, you can see here, a power drill and on the end the drill bit is a countersink drill bit. So effectively all I've done is I've taken the screws out and I've used the power drill to countersink the hinges more so that the screws will go into the frame and the, and the hinge a lot a lot better. That has really worked well. Um, again, I appreciate not everybody can do that. If you can't do that, then you're probably going to have to get some smaller head screws um, just to go in the hinges because the countersinks on the hinges aren't very good. Other than that, the whole thing was really good and I'm sure my plants are going to be very, very happy. Okay, so there it is, assembled. I think um, for what it cost, it's about £130 or something. It'll do the job, it's preserved. It is quite a soft wood, so you have to be careful. Um, a couple of lifty up doors on the top, which will be nice when it's uh, is a bit there. So other than the problem with the hinges, which I've now sorted, you can see inside that they're now quite flat, so they work quite well on the door. It doesn't spring, so that's quite good. Pleased with that. Three nice shelves inside, which is really nice. So it's, um, yeah, it's cool. Pleased with that. It is soft wood, so if you're a chap that likes power tools, keep them in the shed. <clears throat> the only other recommendation is when you put the screw in the frame, put it in the middle, any, any near the edge and it'll just split it. So there we go, I'll get it in position and show you with the plants in. Yep, so there we go, um, job done, in position, uh, plants in there, ready, we'll get some more in now. But that really does extend the season for us now, we can um, start things early, over winter in there and um, keep things looking good. Very pleased with that. Thanks for watching.